Hello and welcome to the latest series of HPC in the Cloud videos from Red Oak Consulting. This series of videos are being sponsored by Microsoft Azure and AMD. In these videos we will be using a Microsoft Azure DevOps repository and AMD HPV2 and HPV3 virtual machines in an Azure subscription. We will demonstrate the quality of this technology from two of the industry's leading organisations, seeing firsthand what can be achieved. My name is Nick Skingle, a managing consultant here at Red Oak Consulting. Having spent 12 years managing HPC data centres throughout the EMEA region, I'm excited about the advancement of cloud in the HPC space and can see firsthand the benefits this technology is bringing. Here at Red Oak Consulting, we have been advising customers on HPC services and solutions for over 18 years and now we are bringing this expertise to you. In this series you are about to see three individual videos. Each of the three videos has a clear and distinct output. Video 1 is focused on deploying the HPC resources using an Azure DevOps repository. The second video will discuss using an open source framework called Reframe to benchmark HPC workflows. And finally, the third video will demonstrate visualizing the output from these workflows on remote desktops in the Azure cloud. For the purpose of filming, we have assumed a level of Azure HPC knowledge is known. However, if not, or if there are any areas of the videos you need further explanation on, then please go to www.redoakconsulting.co.uk publications where we have a broad range of videos and white papers discussing many aspects of HPC and the cloud. There you will also find resources that complement this series of videos. These are a link to the ADO project that is available as a public repository for you to clone and a white paper that discusses the content of the videos in greater detail. So without further delay, let's get started. I will now provide a brief explanation of the ADO repository and its corresponding pipelines. I will then provide an explanation of what the infrastructure looks like in the Azure subscription once all the pipelines have been successfully run and the infrastructure deployed. I have therefore cloned and pre-deployed all of the environment in an Azure subscription as a demonstration of what you will see once the infrastructure has been deployed. Let's first look at the ADO project. There is a readme file that contains all the instructions needed to set up and configure the cloned repository, including a description of the contents of the repository, the order in which the pipeline should be run, how to set up a service connection to Azure, creation of a custom role, the secrets that should be added to a key vault, and all the other information you will require to configure and deploy the project. You will also see several directories containing all the code for deploying an HPC cluster in an Azure subscription. The pipelines directory contains all the YAML files that are required to create the pipelines and a vars.yaml file that contains all the required non-sensitive variables. Each of the other directories contain code for creating images using a tool called Packer, for deploying the infrastructure in Azure using the Azure native BICEP language, and code for configuring CycleCloud, Slurm, and Reframe. Under the pipelines, we can see there are three pipelines that have been configured. The images YAML pipeline creates a resource group and uses Packer to build two images, the HPC compute image and the CycleCloud Orchestrator virtual machine image. The infrastructure BICEP pipeline deploys all the resources for the HPC infrastructure in Azure and the Cycle.yaml pipeline initializes CycleCloud, configures the Slurm HPC cluster and also configures Reframe. As you can see, the pipelines have all been run successfully. 
It is also worth noting that to run the benchmarks, the HPC node image will require some further manual customization, details of which are provided in the README document. Let's now look at the subscription. Once the pipelines have been run, there should be four resource groups created in Azure. The images resource group, a resource group for the VNet, including a bastion, a storage resource group for CycleCloud, and the CycleCloud cluster resource group. Let's have a look at the cluster resource group. After the infrastructure bicep pipeline has been run, a CycleCloud orchestrator VM will have been deployed. And if we have a look at that in more detail, we will see that a public IP address has been created. We can use this public IP address to access the CycleCloud dashboard. As already mentioned, the Cycle.yaml pipeline, when run, will initialize CycleCloud and configure a Slurm cluster with AMD HB series VMs. So finally, let's have a look at the CycleCloud dashboard. I have already logged in and you can see that a Slurm cluster has been configured and that the partitions with the AMD HB series VMs have also been created and are ready to run the workflows. So there you have it. Using an Azure DevOps repository, we have built an AMD focused HPC cluster on Microsoft Azure. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We would be delighted to hear your feedback and remember if you have any further questions, please get in touch. Email sales at redoconsulting.co.uk or for further information, go to our video page on our website where we have a number of how-to videos supported with detailed white papers to assist you. Thank you for watching and don't forget videos two and three are also available for you to watch.